It's also my pleasure to introduce the convener of the conference. Where is he? Robin Arthur. Please join me in welcoming Robin. Um, morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can everybody hear me out there at the back? Oh, that's good. Now, I'm reminded of the time there was this pastor who said it to his congregation. Can all of you hear me right there behind? And there was a silence for a while. And then another guy out there put up his hand and says, Well, I can, but I don't mind exchanging seats with somebody who can't. Okay. Um, okay, I promise uh, uh, not to keep you long. And I believe that is what Elizabeth Taylor said to her seven husbands. Well. All right, now on a serious note, um, I think there's a sense among people of faith that religion and interfaith dialogue can, if given a chance, unfold as a catalyst in the healing of the world. Hate, intolerance, tyranny, violence is no place in the world that is looking to create peaceful societies for itself. Our keynote speaker this morning, Imam Dr. Mustafa Kazvini says, the destruction and havoc that we see today being committed by extremists and terrorists in the name of Islam have absolutely no place in the religion and no representation in its teachings. In fact, the Quran, he says, stresses the significance of human dignity and honor for all humans. But as people of different faiths take up residence in Canada, and that happens because immigration spurs in the economy, the challenge of accommodating religious diversity, especially in the context of um, secular governance, becomes more pointed. That Canada is struggling in many ways to accommodate religious diversity is witnessed in the very public debates lately um, over the funding of religious-based schools, uh, the call for faith-based arbitration, and around the establishment of a commission in Kuwait, I am sorry, in Quebec, uh, to examine reasonable accommodation of diverse cultural practices focused on religious diversity. Uh, this conference thus seeks to bring spirituality uh, and faith dialogue into the public domain. Shastri Robert uh, Gailey, our second speaker, this morning observes, existence can be governed by a small self-centered point of view based on territoriality and fear, of a fearless view or, or of a fearless view that recognizes an unconditional goodness along with an appreciation of our inter interdependence with each other and the earth. This conference will then seek to address the challenges of our time, the injustices within the global society, the social inequality, the racial prejudice. It will address moral and ethical issues that divide us as a people. It will seek commonalities as well as acknowledge differences and make a commitment to engage in civil discourse. In doing so, the conference committee hopes to promote greater interfaith understanding with people affirming a respect for the religious beliefs of others, as well as, at the same time, affirming um, a belief for Canada's core democratic values. Today, the conference as well seeks to render the teachings of faith groups as tolerance, understanding, compassion, and brotherhood. This is being done today and for the first time at this conference, through homilies and prayer supplications in which faith leaders will share their tenets and spiritual practices of their faiths, and particip participants will witness firsthand uh, the spiritual prayer traditions and the different faith groups at their respective worship sites. Uh, thank you, and welcome to two days of invigorating and spiritual engagement. Yeah.